It has been a busy couple of weeks on campus with two Lamar head coaches being relieved of their duties. Last week was volleyball coach Michelle, Mo Michelle Cooster, that is. Today, it's football coach Mike Schultz. The move comes after the Cardinals finished last place in the Southland Conference with a 2-7 and seven record. Lamar was 4-8 and eight overall. In his three years, Schultz was just 13-22, and 22, but did lead Big Red to the postseason for the first time in program history last year. That success led athletic director Marco Bourne and the university to extend Schultz's contract through 2021 with an option for a one-year extension after that season. Tonight, I asked Bourne why he made the move after giving Schultz an extension last year. Um, well, I think uh, finishing last in the league is not something that we, we necessarily strive for. Um, I think we're a top three program in the league, and um, that was a tough decision, decision certainly. Um, and uh, just, you know, uh, uh, an interesting day today. So, When you look at the last couple of weeks, also a change in volleyball, mm -hmm. uh, are you really trying to, you know, make a point that this program will win or there's going to be consequences? I, I don't know about making a point, but, I mean, I, th I think our expectations are to be, um, uh, you know, a leader in the Southland Conference and, f and to compete for championships um, on a regular basis. And, and for doing that, we, we need to make conference tournaments. We need to be in a, in a top three to league, in my opinion. And... Uh, um, that's something that we we strive for to be champions on the on the on the field and court, and um, so you know I, I think that's that's the expectation that we've had all ever since I've been here. So um, just happened to be two two coaching changes here within two weeks. Born added that he hopes the process of replacing Schultz will be quick. They will retain a search firm to help find a coach. He also thinks that they need someone with Texas ties. Now, in my opinion, I believe Marco Born has made his message loud and clear. He expects Lamar to be a winner and a winner in a short amount of time. Now the question is, who will be willing to take over a program that has had very little success, yet has an athletic director with high expectations? The next hire could define Bourne's entire tenure at Lamar University.